Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I um I am sorry for not uploading as often. Uh this whole quarantine stuff and that, yeah, has been a little tough on me. Actually it has been on everyone. I shouldn't just say just me. But uh, we're going through my tackle today. So let's get into it. This is my first tackle box. And I have uh two jig heads here. Oh, actually I actually have three. One sec. Let me just pick these up. Put them out there. These are my jig heads. The ones that I use most often are the white one and then my colored one. These are in great condition still. I've had these since I was about maybe actually no, I I had these about when I was nine. And that's when I first started getting my big tackle and stuff. Uh moving on to my moving on to that. I forget what this is called. If uh any fishermen's watch or any fisherman people come across this video and they know the name of this please comment that down below uh, I want to know what this is called I don't remember uh, yeah or that it's like a worm gummy thing I think this is from gulp I don't remember <sighs> hooks everywhere Now, this is actually part of a mackerel rig. For those of you who live in Muskoka, uh, not Muskoka, Nova Scotia, Ontario, you will recognize these as mackerel rigs for the ocean and stuff when you're just sitting at the dock or where the ships are. Take one of these, you have a line of six or five hooks. You throw it down into the water, and you pretty much just reel slowly and jig it every now and then. They're really light hitters. You don't really feel it. I mean, you could feel it in your line. But, um, yeah, this is pretty fun to use. I don't have the rest of that with me. Sorry, I got hiccups. And now, spinners. These are just two of my spinners that I own. Well, two of a few. This accidentally cast it in the sea, believe it or not. Uh, got to take it off. This is made by Blue Fox. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. But, uh, yeah. It's made by Blue Fox. I think this one doesn't say, but... Uh, these are both great spinner or they're either spoons or spinners I can't remember I think they're spoons yeah they're spoons I don't know I just call them spinners cuz yeah why not so let's move on to my second tackle box shall we it's just a bunch of hooks there normal hooks small large medium box one complete I'm gonna just set that over there. Okay. Box number two. Like I said. Two of many of my spinners. Let's just start off with my spinners here. Yeah. Uh okay, here, okay? Ow. This one's fun to use. I just got this recently from my grandpa. He sent it in the mail to me. It's a spinner, I believe. Made also by Blue Fox with a bell in it so it vibrates while going through the water. And I've got a small version of that yellow one. Wow. 
except that one's more darker in color than that one. Um, and I've got this one that's supposed to imitate salmon eggs or eggs in general. I think they're salmon eggs. Uh, yeah, it imitates that through the water. Yeah, put those over there. Then I got little seat Celio or Cello. Cello. Slio. I can't pronounce that. Two point five ounces. There's that. That's great for fast running water to get pike. This is also a good one too. It's a spinner. I know this because I've seen it spin before. <laughs> when I used it, it's a spinner or a spoon, whatever. Um, then there's this one. Also really good for catching bass and pike. So I got the red one and the blue one. Uh, I like that one more than this one because this one's bigger and heavier. By like 5, 8 ounces. Also made by Blue Fox. There. Still not sponsored by them. And then I got another little seal cello. Which is three fourths of an ounce. Okay, um Ow. Oh wait. There's this one here that I own. It's good for pike, bass, anything bigger than this. Put a worm on it. Maybe a little frog on it for musky. Oh, and then I've got a spinner trout, a spotted trout thing. Yeah, and then yeah. It's good for catching pike bass, yeah, all the, and then this is just a, uh, this is one of the, um, this is one of the things of, um, pretty good. I got two of these. Uh, this one is a floater. I don't remember if this one is a floater or a sinker. I think this one is a sinker. No, I think this one's a floater because it has the same bill as that one. But anyways, um, yeah, that's both of these. Um, they're not letting go of each other. Just let go of each other, please. Okay, so this is my hopper, or whatever it's called. So you reel it in, and then you skid it across the water. It just makes like these popping sounds across the water. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's that. This is another lure. I think this one is a sink. No, not a sinker. It's a floater when, when you reel it in, like all three of these. You reel it in, and then it, uh, it sinks down. And there's this one. So need to put this one back. This one's really cool because it moves like that in the water. This one actually, um, it's really good. I can say that it it sinks. I believe. Let's 
case two down. One more to go. Yeah, I just need to fill up this case more. And then this case right here. This one. One sec. That one down there. I need to fill up this one. And the bottom one there. This has nothing in it. So, put that there. Now, for the finale. I still need to fill up this one. I only have three of these louvers. So, I like these ones because, one, they're small. This one's a minnow. This one is a mini floating bass. That, this one here, or it's a diver, I don't remember. And then this one, actually... These ones I have never used because I got them recently. This is a shad. Pretty basic stuff, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to end today's episode here. Or not episode. It's not an episode. Um, today's video here with closing these. And uh, stay home. Try and stop the spread of COVID. Uh, it'll help people more. Yeah, um. Well, oh, that goes there. Um, yeah, uh. Stay home. Stay safe. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys have a great time. I just want you guys to be safe out there. Surprisingly, it's not broken, just a little scratch show. <laughs> um, but anyways, yes, uh, well, bye-bye, and I will see you next time I upload a video. Bye-bye.